Well, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, we are winding down the month of June, which in 2006 was designated as National Caribbean American Heritage Month. Let me first give credit to the music I'm playing. It is Steel Band Music, and it's by the Sony Record Special Productions. Trinidad and Tobago Steel Band Music. Love my island music. Now, I am not having nostalgia over the fact that National Caribbean American Heritage Month celebration ends tomorrow. For me, it does not. Every one of these holidays, in particular culturally related, or is black history. I celebrate three 165. So yes, tomorrow is the 30th of June. However, the celebration of National Caribbean American Heritage Month will continue for me. I will continue to talk about the impact of people from the Caribbean on this country. The way we have added to the salad bowl of cultures to make America a great nation. We have contributed vastly to this country. I live in the city of Wilmington in the state of Delaware. And for the last 39 years, I have infused a lot to the culture. I have given back to the community and I continue to do so. And I don't do it only in the month of June. It is 365. So let's celebrate National Caribbean American Heritage Month 365. If you have someone, a colleague in your office or at your workplace, and that person is from the Caribbean, don't wait until June to say thank you for what you bring to this nation. Thank you for your talents. Thank you for your good works. Don't wait. So as I said, there is no nostalgia for me. There's no nostalgia that the month of June is ending because I celebrate this impactful recognition of National Caribbean American Heritage. I celebrate it 365, round the clock. That's what it is for me with these um, special celebrations. I don't wait on, I don't believe in the month, the days, the week, and yes, they're symbolic. It is symbolic because yes, it was a legislation that was passed under the presidency of George W. Bush back in 2006. It was that legislation that uh, brought about the recognition of the month of June as National Caribbean American Heritage Month. Now the month of June is also celebrated as Pride Month. And I am an advocate for diversity. And I stand up for the people who represent Pride Month. And I want them to be treated equally. And again, don't wait until June to recognize the people who celebrate Pride, Pride Month. Give them their dignity, their, rec their recognition, 365. That's what we should do. If we are truly a country that accepts diversity, but first we have to understand it. How are you going to accept what you don't understand? So it's about time that we understand, respect, and value our diversity. It is our diversity that makes us a strong nation. Ironically, it is our diversity that keeps ripping us apart. But we must stand strong and don't give up to those who are trying to tear us apart. Rather, let's unite. Let's unite as a nation. And when I use the word unite, I don't use it as a platitude like the politicians. Let's unite. Well, I believe in unity. But with unity comes other components. With unity comes 
diversity, equity, inclusion. All of that to me is a, is a part of unity. So you can't have unity without justice. And again, the politicians are like, oh, let's unite. Well, let's administer justice. Because without justice, there can be no unity. Don't tell me about unity when you violate people's rights. You want us to unite? Take that decision, and I'm gonna go there. Take that recent Supreme Court decision, which has torn the country apart. How can we unite when there is injustice? And in 2020, when the marches were all over this country and all over the world, and the chant was, N-O justice, N-O peace. Let me show you what I did. I went beyond N-O justice, N-O peace. I took a more radical stance. This is what I did. I created a work of art that very year titled K-N-O-W Justice, K-N-O-W Peace. Because without justice, there can be no peace. And we must always put it all together. Don't nitpick and pick off a little good portion there and there and talk about let's unite. I don't want to hear it. If, if your unity means discrimination against LGBTQ, racism, inequality, inequity, I don't want your unity. Keep your type of unity. I want a unity that recognizes justice and promotes justice. Because without justice, there can be no peace. There can be no unity. So it's a triangle. On the one side is peace. On the other side is unity. But at the base is justice. That is the leverage. That, that, that is the pivot of it all. The pivot of unity is justice. The pivot of peace is justice. Without justice, there cannot be unity and there won't be peace. Get it straight. And it's about time politicians get off their platitude and recognize what it takes to unite our country. Okay. Yeah. So it's almost the last day of National Caribbean American Heritage Month. And we have had, here at Lafayette Gallery Vision Center, we have had a grandiose month, long celebration. We took it to the ultimate. We had events at different locations. And the celebration culminated with an award recognition last Friday, where we recognized three trailblazers, two women, of Jamaican heritage. Oh yes, let me tell you about them. Two women of Jamaican heritage, Dr. Nadine Lindsay, Dr. Arthur Vs. Sterling, who established, who founded Dell Care Health Solutions, a primary health care designed to address the disparity for health care for Africans, Amer African Americans in the state of Delaware. How much more can you trailblaze? And then the third person recognized was Ayana Khan. And she's from Trinidad. Very important call coming in, so I'll be back. I'm back. That was a call from Bear Library giving me the numbers for this evening. This evening, from 6 to 7.30, I'd be at the Beer Library in Beer, Delaware. And I was asked to present my topic, The Art of Business, How to Transform a Hobby 
into a business. It's exciting. I'm prepared for that. I'm going to be like a storyteller to tell how I transformed my hobby and made it a business. Started out, then it became a home-based sole proprietorship. Then it moved to a storefront, LLC, Lafayette Gallery, LLC. Go look it up. Go look it up. So I'm getting ready. So it all comes together. And I was talking about celebration of National Caribbean American Heritage Month and the people that I recognized for their contribution, for their trailblazing efforts. So Ayala Khan, who was born in Trinidad and Tobago, she is a trailblazer because she established, she founded the Delaware Black Chamber of Commerce. And let me just qualify, because even though it says Black Chamber of Commerce, it is all inclusive. There are many corporations out there who have joined on. And it, it, it embraces diversity, even though it says black. And yes, it says black because black businesses have been at a disadvantage, including my own. So I am so glad that I'm a part of um, a chamber of commerce that represents my interests as a black woman owned business. So give it up for Ayana Khan, the founder, president, CEO of the Delaware Black Chamber of Commerce. And as we talk about the closing of National Caribbean American Heritage Month celebration, then we look to the future. And this is why I say celebrated 365, because her efforts don't last in, in a vacuum. It is around the clock, 365, she's out there looking opportunities to promote Black-owned businesses. And she has the support of a diverse body of corporations. So it is Black Chamber of Commerce, but it's all inclusive. I believe in diversity, equity, and inclusion. So yes, I do have uh, approximately 10 people who are going to be in my class at the Bear Library. If you're listening out there and you are in the proximity of the Bear Library, join us at 6 p.m. for our workshop. It's going to be very, very interactive. When I walk you through the story, of how I transformed my hobby, my art hobby, into a business. A 29-year story. 29 years. I licensed my business back in 1993. So, look, when I talk about what it takes to transform the hobby to a business, I have the experience, and I want to share that. So I offer a workshop and it's online at my website. If you want to register for a one-on-one -on -one class, uh, workshop, one-on-one -on -one session, or you want to get a small group of people, maybe six to 10 people, maximum 10, and organize a workshop, how to transform a hobby to a business, then do that. The web link is www.lafaitegallery.com or you can call me at 302-656-6786 to arrange it. So, well, there's a lot that goes on, that is going on, and that is coming. The month of July is on us. And on Friday, which is the normal art loop, usually in July, we kind of skip it. I still be open for the art loop on Friday evening, it's first Friday. So if it's first Friday, it's the art loop and you can come in to the fake gallery to celebrate and I'll be for that. I'm putting up my patriotic art because as much as I lambast about this and that, except I'm very patriotic, very, very patriotic. And I have a whole series of art that shows my patriotic theme. There we go. That is my black lady liberty, and yes, she was black. They wanted to make her white when they 
brought the statue or they, they cha change up a few things wanting to make her a white woman. But she, she wasn't white. She was a black woman. That, so that is called Beauty of Liberty. Here's another version. Rays of Liberty. And there are several other patriotic pieces I have. Actually, look at, look at this one. This is a patriotic ladybug. Because ladybug is big in my state, Delaware. So yes, I have these art here to celebrate different occasions. What do you have on your wall? What's on your wall that celebrate or, or um, patriotic holidays? What's on your wall? I know my dear friend, uh, uh, I see Jack out there. They're my great patrons. Yes, they, they have this piece. This piece here. Let me put the spotlight back on it. Right there. Yeah, they have that. I'll go to a, another location where I can get a better view of it. Right there. Yes. And my friend Helen even recommended that this should be on a stamp. I guess I have to pursue that. There's another piece of my patriotic art out there. United we stand or united we must stand. So all over this gallery are themes that represent our diversity or cultural heritage. So why do we celebrate the final, two final days of National Caribbean American Heritage Month for me, it continues. I will continue to promote it 365. That's the way I represent these holidays. So come and get some souvenirs. They are all over this place. Look, there we go. A white series of, and you can get them in miniatures for this beautiful patriotic jazz piece of work. Just a range of that here in this gallery. So I'm getting ready to go to the Bear Library for my presentation. If you're just joining me, I will be at the Bear Library in Bear, Delaware, presenting the topic, The Art of Business, How to Transform a Hobby into a Business. Looking forward to it. So join us if you, it's a free session, and you could learn a lot. I have a 12 plank of ideas about how to transform that hobby into a business, and it's coming from real experience. Get some of it for free. Otherwise, you can pay for it by organizing a class, or you can request a one-on-one -on -one session. I'm a consultant. Uh, yes, the Fake Gallery Vision Center offers consulting on various fields. I have the expertise. I you can for diversity of all types, diversity, equity, and inclusion. So I look forward to hearing from you. Call me at three zero two six five six six seven eight six, or go to my website and register for these.